Realty friends, it's Carolina from AlwaysRespectMore.com. You can find me on Instagram as CraftMore. And today we're working on block 11 of the Quilty 5K, the Sugar Bowl block. Are you ready? Let's get started. For the Sugar Bowl quilt block, I'm going to start with a big four and three quarter inch square. And normally I do a double layer, but since I'm making such a big square and I really only need one of them, I am only going to cut a four and three quarter inch square off one side. Breaking my own rules of what I normally do. There we go. From the raspberry rose and the jade cream, I need a four and three sixteenths from both, so I'm just going to cut them at the same time. So three sixteenths is halfway between the one eighth and one quarter inch line. And again, I'm doing a big square and I would say I just want to do one of each, but I'm trying to go kind of quickly here and to reposition everything will be a huge pain. So I'm just going to cut two of each, even though I only need one of each. But you can do it however you like, because clearly I break my own rules and I'll encourage you to break whatever rules make sense for you to break. So four and three sixteenths. There we go. So I'm gonna keep one of each, set the rest aside, and then I've got all the pieces that I need for my sugar bowl quilt block. For the sugar bowl quilt block, I'm gonna start by putting the center square aside and then I'm going to draw a line on the back of one of these pieces diagonally across. There we go. Now I'm going to stitch a quarter inch away on each side of this line. And I'm using my leader ender blocks because my thread likes to get sucked up into my sewing machine and this keeps that from happening. And now the other side. And I've got some more little leader ender blocks. If you're new here, leader ender blocks are just um, scrap pieces that I cut with my Gemini by Crafters Companion digital cutter or uh, electric cutter and they're just cut out of my scraps and I do that so that I have all these scrap pieces that over time will get stitched together into larger and larger pieces and eventually will become a full quilt. So now this gets cut in half. and pressed. And then these are each going to get cut in half on diagonal. So I've got a cutting that under here. I'm just going to bring up. And I'll just cut right here. So now we can lay out the block. You'll notice that these triangles stick far out beyond the edge of the square and that is exactly, exactly what we want. Look at that. I'm going to stitch two edges on and to help me make sure that I have everything centered, I'm going to just give this a little crease right down the middle, my square. 
which is turn on an angle, so I suppose it's a diamond. And that way I know that everything is being centered correctly when I stitch. I'm going to stitch this side on, and then this side on. I'm going to press, and then I'm going to stitch this side on, and this side on. And then I'm going to press, and then we'll be all set. And that's how easy it is to make the sugar bowl block. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Remember, I have instructions for all of these blocks on my site in the six inch, 12 inch and 18 inch versions of these blocks. So you can find those all at alwayexpectmore.com. The link's right here. And make sure that you upload these and hashtag Quilty5K on Instagram. I'll see you soon.